What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Force Strategy Gaming. This is going to be the kickoff of our extensive Diablo 3 beta coverage. We will be starting off with full playthroughs of all five classes beginning here with the Barbarian. So without further ado, I bring to you the Diablo 3 beta full let's play playthrough starting with the Barb. Alrighty, so let's just get right into the action. Now, I do want to let you know I'm not going to be pausing for discussion uh, during any of kind of the uh, the dialogue that takes place in the game. I find it kind of just makes the commentary awkward, so I'm just going to talk my way through it. Um, so here we go. We have got the Barbarian. The basic of the Barbarian is that you are divided into two kind of fundamental... Uh, attributes here we're looking at having fury generators and fury spenders and that's basically how the class functions that's how the resource which is fury is uh, is used so you can see right now there is a max of 100 fury at the moment i've got bash and threatening shout bash is my fury generator threatening shout would be my fury spender so i just spam bash build up my fury and then go ahead and use it on my threatening shout now I'll take a quick look at the uh, skills and stuff. Basically, whenever I unlock skills, I'll go ahead and uh, show them to you and uh, kind of just make brief mention of them so you guys can know what's going on and what's available. And maybe that'll let you decide once you get to play the game how you would like to start off your character and what spells and abilities you would like to use. Um, as you can see right there, I got a little XP bonus for killing a certain amount of monsters in a row. Uh, there's all sorts of things like this in the game. I think it's pretty neat that they added that. It's not a huge bonus, but it is a little bit of something. And actually, I do have a shared stash. Uh, I'll jump in that after I, <laughs> after I go ahead and uh, do this first, though. All right, so talk to Leia, and yes, I'm going to be exiting the, the dialogue boxes for this Let's Play. I just kind of want to make this uh, just to show you guys the beta and do some basic commentary with it. And then after that, again, we'll be going in depth looking at the lore and everything like that. All right, I'm going to talk to Captain Rumford, but let's first go in Leia's room. Take a look at what is under these books. Leia's journal, part one. Reach level two. All sorts of wonderful things. Captain Rumford and the others All are right, also got Hammer of the Ancients, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. And uh, first, let's grab my stash, though. I've got two beautiful sickles here, and I think that's going to help me out quite a bit. Equip those to my barb. Oh, he is looking quite baller indeed. Certainly deserving of the name Force Barb. All right. Spells here. You can see I have the active skills available and passive skills. You can see right now I only have two active skills available, so I can only have two at any given time. Now I obviously need my Fury Generator, and the only one I have available at the moment is going to be Bash. So my Fury Spender, I don't really care so much about the debuff. I much rather have Hammer of the Ancients, so that will be what I select. And I'll just show you guys in detail here. Bash is three Fury per attack. Brutally smash an enemy for 145% weapon damage with 20% chance to knock the enemy back. Knockback is awesome. 145% weapon damage. Obviously, this is going to scale once I get better weapons. That's how it's going to work. Now the threatening shout, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Threatening shout is the debuff that I started out with. Uh, cost 20 fury. Uh, shouts reducing the damage of enemies within 25 yards by 50% for 15 seconds. And the one I have selected though is Hammer of the Ancients. This is another damage dealer. Calls forth a massive hammer, 180% weapon damage plus a 15% increased chance to crit. So you can see right now both my fury generator and spender are going to be damage dealers. Uh, I'm, I'd rather focus on that than have that little debuff there basically. <laughs> That's my thought process anywho. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Captain Rum. And once more, whenever I get a new spell and ability, I'll show it to you guys. We'll talk about it, and I'll let you know kind of why I'm picking it over this, and what my decision, uh, what my decision, my thought process is behind my decisions. All right, so now I have to find a uh, wretched mother and slay her. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that lasted long, huh? All right, got a cloth tunic as well. So let me go ahead and equip that. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, beautiful day. All right, let's listen to the lore while I try to uh, continue along the way. I need to find the Wretched Queen, and I need to kill three more mothers, Wretched Mothers, but let's listen to the lore while we do that. The Wretched Mothers were once normal women, but in death they serve a dark purpose. These horrors feast upon the remains of cadavers, then use foul magic to regurgitate the bodies as newly formed risen dead. That's spooky. One must slay the mother quickly, yes. or her nightmarish spawn will continue to grow in number. You got it. So as you can see, that lore kind of gave us just a basic fundamental understanding of how those wretched mothers work. Um, you know, they vomit up on the ground and then they, they produce more demons through that. So you want to take them out quickly or else you'll kind of be overwhelmed. All right, Musty Cellar. What's going on down here? Holy crap. 
all these quills running around. And yes, the quills have returned. You may remember them from uh, other games in the series. The quills are back, and I've got some new lore. So I guess we can listen to that momentarily while I continue to try to find more wretched mothers. All right. Quill fiends are a common nuisance in the Western lands, and I have had my own tents ransacked by them. Oh, During spooky. During an expedition to Candorus, I was able to beat them off with a shoe. But a less bold man would have fared far worse. Quill fiends are dangerous. Underestimate them at your peril. Thanks for the heads up, buddy. Quill fiends are dangerous. Underestimate them at your peril. Sounds good. Alright, let me look at the map here. I need to go to the ping. So I need to head in that direction. Got another wretched mother. Let me take her out quickly. Before she starts vomiting all over the place. Got a thick stash. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I thought I was talking about a mustache. I thought we had some uh, some facial modifications there with the thick stash, but no. Alas, we do not, my friends. Alas, we do not. All right, let us find our way through to the next area. Barrels! Now, as you can tell, things are pretty easy right now, and um, I'm sure it's going to get a little more difficult as we're you know doing this initial level up. Look at that. Right, look at that right down there as we're doing this initial level up, but I need you to also realize this is the first of four difficulties There's four difficulties in Diablo 3 um, You're ex you're expected to go through the first one with relative ease and you know as you progress into later later difficulties They get more difficult, but not only is it the first of four difficulties But on top of that ooh, look at this on top of that um, the beta is only the first third of act one So it's not even all of act one. We're only playing one third of act one up until the skeleton king. That's it that's all that the beta consists of. So, um, yeah, there's really it's not going to get crazy difficult on the basic difficulty at the first third of the first act. I do want to show you the new spell that we just picked up. Uh, we do have available now Battle Rage. 20 Fury is its cost. Enters a rage, increasing damage by 30% and critical hit chance by 4%. Now, since I can only have two skills, I only have the option of, uh, of using two skills right now, I'm going to stick with what I have. I don't really care about that buff, just like I didn't care about the debuff. I'd rather have my, at least one Fury Generator and Spender that's actually doing damage, and that's what I'm going to stick with for now. So... So there you go, that is my thought process behind not picking that, at least at the moment. And this is where I should be finding this chick here. First let me kill this wretched mother. And then on to the next one. Look at this, look at this lady. She's not happy to be alive. Good thing she's dead. Oh, oh, the physics in this game. So phenomenal. All right, so we do have a waypoint here, so let me show this to you guys. Waypoints are what you expect them to be. They allow you to travel from one point to another point quickly. Uh, you can see the current location is displayed. Also, this little uh, trophy here shows you basically where to go, your closest waypoint to turning in your quest or to the next part of your quest. Um, so that's very convenient. Very, very convenient indeed. Thank you. For All right, Captain Rumford, give me something. Ooh, Sickle of the Lion. Uh, I think I actually already have that one. <laughs> let's uh, Let's see there. Yeah, I do. And this one's less damage too, so screw that. Screw that noise. Let's go to the old ruins with Leia and continue along our merry way. Let me open the gate. Ah, thank you. I love how she can unlock that, but for some reason the barbarian who is literally twice her size cannot. That's uh, pretty nonsensical. Let's see some gold pieces. You'll have noticed, obviously, uh, you just walk over gold pieces and pick them up. It is not necessary for you to click on them. Uh, they kind of got rid of that. And I, I, I prefer that because I much rather, with my clicking, be killing stuff than picking up gold. So I kind of, I, I, I think that's a better situation. I basically got rid of some just uh, needless clicking, and I'm okay with that. I am not in the least bit upset. That's okay, that's okay, that, I don't need that. Alright. Adria's mother's a witch! <laughs> Obviously we know that. If you play prior games, you'll be well aware. And what is Captain Dalton doing? Oh, he's dying quickly at that. Look at that damage, huh? Jeez, I'm crow. Jeez, I'm crow. Cauldron of Jordan! Beautiful. We'll listen to Adria momentarily, though. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's going, I'll be sure to follow in his wake. Alright, that enough? Oh, you're still talking. Tristram once again. 
but like Aiden. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, that's too much shocking for me. All right, so uh, we're going to be first looking right now at the Cauldron of Jordan. This allows us to sell items on the fly, so I can just go ahead and shift click here and look at all, all this junk that I don't need, don't care about, uh, just want to get rid of. Oh, I'm actually going to. I'm going to take that. That's pretty good. Um, I can just sell on the fly. No need to go back to town. Nothing like that is necessary. So um, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys do too. I mean, that's it's uh, it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool addition. Now, I, this does have less armor, but I also have the, uh, the plus two uh, attackers take two damage. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to opt for that right now. I think that's a little bit better. Let's go, Barb. And find our way into the cathedral. It's going to be the next location for us. Let's see what wonders there are to behold. Oh, guys, come on. Stop feasting. Stop feasting on the dead villager. Uh, how rude of you. Quick and easy work there. All right. Stump. Anything? Gold piece. Let's head our way into the cathedral. And I believe... Yeah, look at that. Gonna be going down a pit. Cathedral level one. Alrighty. Alrighty. Got a bunch of uh, fury saved up. Gonna allow me to unload it once we get into some difficult situation. How's this? Ha ha ha. Ah, Hammer of the Ancients. How I love you so. One thing about Diablo, uh, things being randomized, you never know what's going to drop. It's pretty advantageous to literally just click on everything because you can get absurd items in barrels or under loose stones, you know, pretty much anywhere. So, obviously, it's not as vital during the beta. I'm not going to be keeping this stuff, but all right, let's listen about those carrion bats. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and we thought oh, never mind. I guess <laughs> I guess we're all done listening to that. <laughs> I love how it just stopped. It's funny. Ah, poor dude. He is dead. All right, let's go down the stairs here. See what we can find. <clears throat> Got a few more carrying mats. Some stones. It's got to be something. Ooh, look at this. All right, so these guys, grotesques, they kind of blow up after you kill them. Uh, so stay away, and then they spawn the little corpse worms. So just something to keep an eye out for. And I picked up Cleave. We'll take a look at that, see if it's going to be worthwhile, see if it's something that I want to use at the moment. All right, so let's take a look. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, what is Cleave? Cleave, is it going to be another Fury Generator? You can see it's doing 120% weapon damage um, to the target enemy and then 60% to enemies around it. Now, we compare that to 145% to a single target enemy. Um, overall, I don't know, Cleave might be better I think if I start running into huge packs then I'm gonna opt for cleave but I have been doing a lot of single target damage work so at the moment I think I'm just gonna stick with bash um, we'll see though again if I, I can I might just pick up the cleave and that's a great thing really about the new skill system is that you can just switch it out at any given point and let's uh, go ahead and go on the other side here and work our way through the ravenous dead not a problem at all not a problem. Chest, anything? Some more gold pieces. Okay. What about over here? Knock out the grotesque. As you can see, he did has a little explosion, and then his corpse worms come out. Oh yeah. And you see, especially with the hammer of the ancients, it it makes it feel entirely unnecessary for the cleave because this is um, an area damage. Like I can take out uh, people who are clumped up with that. So. I think that kind of does the, does the trick. I did pick up a chest piece, but I'm going to stick with what I have because of the uh, damage to attackers. And let's go through the door. Sucker. Come back here. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Try to find. I need to hunt for signs of Deckard Cane. That's my goal. Knock down the bookshelf. Anything? Anything? Nope. Nothing doing. Let's continue to hunt for signs. While taking out these bats, they really look like whelps. Miniature dragons. They don't <laughs> They don't really look like bats. If you want my honest opinion. Shoes. I have shoes. No, I do not. Equip. Gloves as well. 
Didn't even realize I didn't have those equipped. Time to check this hall. See what we got going on down here. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, Barb. Ah! <laughs> Destructible environments, be careful. Very careful. Barb's doing what he can to work through these uh, scrub nubs. <laughs> a little page out of a theme's book there. This guy's such a joker. He's hilarious, though, really is. You can't take, you know, I mean, his recent videos have been very serious, and I've, uh, I've, I really like that, actually. He's doing a lot to try to help the YouTube community, which I think is great. Um, and, I, I, you know, I really appreciate what he's doing to help the smaller channels to try to grow uh, with this together to the top. Um, but, you know, a lot of people hate Athene because they think he's a giant troll, but that's an act. You have to, you know, I mean, he's... Obviously, he's not like a paid Hollywood actor, but he's acting in the in a lot of the stuff that he's doing. So I just think that's something to keep in mind. It's it's kind of meant to be comical and a joke because it isn't 100% serious. But that is enough about Athene. Let's talk about Force. <laughs> no, we don't have to talk about me. We'll just continue along the playthrough here. I am really looking forward to level 6 so that I can have a third active skill available. And, uh, and that's, uh, yeah... Unfortunately, the cap here in the beta is going to be level 13, so really no chance to extend beyond that. Oh, see you later, sucker. Let's head down this way. Look at that. New record XP bonus as a result. And can I go down there? Yes, I can. I can go down the stairs. Quickly dispatch the carrion bats. Get another health potion. I haven't really had to use those yet because of the health globes I haven't available. Ooh, chest, come on, be something. Nothing. Nothing out of that chest. Wooden door is available for destruction, so see you later. And a shrine. Cool things about shrines, and you'll see once we do co-op play, is that whenever I activate a shrine, um, the people around me will gain access to it as well. That's a really cool thing. I like that, you know, they're really obviously focusing the, um, the cooperative aspect of this game. And I think that's good. I do. Level five, wonderful. Almost got level six with the uh, unlock of the next ability. And I've just picked up Ignore Pain. So there we go. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to use that really in all honesty. Uh, not, not, not immediately, but especially on solo just to make sure we prevent deaths. Because deaths are embarrassing and try to be avoided. <laughs> if at all humanly possible, we will try to avoid those such said deaths. Let's keep going though. Looks like we are headed in the right direction. I don't have a ping anywhere, so I just basically have to keep on walking. Ooh, Leork's Passage. Let me get my ass down there. I'm probably gonna have to, have to kind of wrap around, I'm assuming. I'm going to assume that. What's this guy doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Poor guy. Can I not attack him? Why am I not allowed to click him? There we go. Finally. Jeez, that took forever. Huh? That took way too long. Oh no. Look at this guy. Let's see how I do against him. Wow. Lots of damage. Get him. No, oh, that was. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it could have been. Not that bad. And what have I picked up? The 3.8, no thank you. That's no thank you as well. So again, let me just uh, let me go ahead and sell some of this stuff quickly and easily. And continue along my merry way. I mean, you, you know, because in the past, you know, inventory fills up and you have to teleport back to town and then go to the NPC that's you're going to sell items and then, you know, go get back. I, I, I like that they're letting us stay in the action. I really do. I really appreciate that the, <laughs> that they did that um, because it's just a hassle and, you know, it, it's not fun. And, ooh, we'll stop talking for a moment. Oh, minions, stay back. Back. There he is, Deckard Kane. Saved by the stone, but look at that, King Leoric. Oh no. And soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. Okay, King Leoric, that's enough out of you. You were kind of possessed by Diablo and went a little insane, so I don't trust your judgment. I think I'm gonna help. 
I think I'm going to help my buddy Deckard Kane. I'll just bypass this idiot first because I want to get straight to him. Give him a helping hand and then we'll take care of these dummies here. Royal henchmen. Yeah, you, you guys did great. You guys did absolutely fantastic. Okay, head cleaver. I'm a little more concerned about your <laughs> damage dealing abilities. But evidently it wasn't a problem. And Deckard, how you doing, buddy? Thank you. But why did you... What's next? Follow Deckard Kane. All right. Let's go, buddy. Cathedral Garden. And another waypoint. Wonderful. And we're going to New Tristram. That's the uh, next course of action. And time to pick up Quest from Leia. Got some nice gloves there. Look like spellcaster gloves, though. I didn't get a quick look, but... Only got a quick look. Let's see. Yeah, two to casting speed, but it's better than what I have, really. So, might as well pick it up and let's continue. Uh, should I just go through the waypoint? Nope. Guess I gotta go this way. So, talk to the blacksmith. Oh, that's why. Let's see what the blacksmith has to say, shall we? Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half Blacksmith. Thank yep, you. I talked to him, follow and I must me. follow him now. <laughs> Put infested villagers out of their misery. You got it. You got it. Let's make quick work of these guys. <clears throat> All right, infested villagers. I'm quite sorry as well. A knot. Love Hammer of the Ancients, so beautiful. So so beautiful. My love. Forgive me. Oh no. It's his love. Ah, Hedrick, help me. It's too bad. Really too bad. Really, really unfortunate. See you later. I couldn't have done this without You'll find his two minutes Nephilim Cube. Alright, so the Nephilim Cube is uh, probably what I'll be using from this point forward on magical stuff that I don't need. Um, and we'll take, a, we'll take a look at it after we walk out of town back into Nutrition. So the Nephilim Cube, this allows me to break down items into their raw materials that will be used for crafting. So I will certainly be using this because I want to break down items into their raw materials for use of crafting. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I'd rather do that than pick up the gold right now. It's going to allow me to show you guys a lot of crafting stuff later or down the road. Um, and that's my plan. So, let's go. On to the next quest. Fight your way to the cemetery of the Forsaken and find Hedrick's apprentice is the bonus. Okay. Let's listen to some lore as we make our way down here. Up into that area. Scavengers are ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to him. But I'm sure wow. the is utter not. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> See that damage that I took from those explosions? Alright though, let's take out this guy. This is the one problem with uh, soloing melee characters is that, you know, yeah, eh, it just it's it's more difficult I would say. I would I would say it's more difficult. I would venture as far as to say that. Um, you just you, you have to be up at the front taking damage basically is the problem. Alright, so this one is gonna add lighting damage, eight point four damage per second. Um, this one is plus two attack, this one is the precision. Ugh. At this point in the game, I'm just gonna go with this to be I think that that's gonna work well for me. Now let's keep working our way up. Up, up, up. 